what, my good people? It is AJ coming at you, bringing you another video in beautiful, pristine 4K. And yes, guys, I do upload this shit in 4K, so if it's not coming in on uh, on 4K for you guys, it's because whatever you got ain't, you know, it's not your device or whatever you're watching this on doesn't support 4K. Anyway, we're here today, we're going to talk about bricks. Oh God, I've been, uh, this has been just used so much over the last month, especially ever since the, um, game Royals dropped and especially now since the, uh, shadows dropped, you can get the shadows online for about retail now on stock X, uh, same with the game Royals. People are like, man, those are bricks. Uh, yeah. So what? That doesn't mean shit. That doesn't, that's not a bad thing. A shoe being a brick does not mean that the shoe is garbage by any stretch. It happens every year. And if you've been doing this for a while, then you already know. January through March is a seller's market. It is not a buyer's market like it is now. What the market has done, what markets do in shoe markets, clothing, all kinds of markets, is it has stabilized. And it does it at this time every single year. You know why? Because middle class America that works hard for their cash isn't stupid. All those temporarily rich tax guys that swooped in with their bag of tax money and threw stupid money out at drops that were happening anywhere from January to March, those guys are back doing their thing. They're back to being broke. That's what they're back to doing. So now the people that are bidding on these shoes are people that aren't stupid. They know the value. They know the worth of the shoe. They know they're not going to sit there and go, oh, I'm going to throw $300 out at these, at these just because I can. No, they're going to try to get them at... at as low cost as they can because we are the real collectors. We are working class America who gets up every day and works our ass off. We do not get $10,000 a year from tax money. We do not get earned income credit all the time. And if you do, there's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely not. I'm talking about the people that barely work all year but get, you know three four thousand dollars per child and also keep popping out kids just so they can get more it's just i hate it and then come come january february march they're 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 banking man and they are throwing stupid money out at shoes and they're they're ruining the market for all of us I just love that leather and i just love these two these are so beautiful yes both have been worn so that's what's going on. So who cares if these are bricks? These are two really, when it comes to the shadows, I'm telling you, man, the leather that dropped with these is, and it is inconsistent, but leather is an inconsistent. You know, it's, that's what it is. You either got a pair that is buttery or you got a pair that is just kind of good. You know, I've seen a little too much butter. Maybe we could say in the, uh, on the toe cap, I personally like mine. I don't like those wrinkles that you see kind of like right here. Right here, it doesn't really bother me. And that is just so soft because of where it's at. But I've seen some really, really soft ones. I just don't like creases. That's just me. Some people prefer creases. I I don't see why I keep, I have force fields in mind to keep them from, put them in most of my shoes, especially creasers. And the ones do have a tendency to crease. So do the threes and the fours. So those are really the Jordan, like like the elevens. I I really don't put protection in for the you know toe box too often. Yeah, guys. So I just wanted to kind of address that bricks issue. Just because it's a brick doesn't mean it's a bad shoe. So people need to stop saying it like it's a bad thing, because it's not. So for all you resellers out there that buy one or two extra shoes and think you're balling, making your little pennies and your little extra 100 bucks here, uh, $40 there, you know. And I don't hate the reseller, not at all. 
you guys go go on do your thing you know whatever it is you want to do and especially the guys who know how to do it they don't use bots they buy in bulk and even if they are a brick they still make a decent haul because they they know how to buy you know it's it's the guys that buy two or three pairs and then bitch because it's a brick and they might have used a bot so they had to cough up another 300 well you know what that's your fucking fault because i could have told you that these were going to end up near retail i actually didn't think they'd end up that low but you know you can watch trends man you know where everything's headed you know so right now jordan ones are you know kind of I wouldn't really be uh, buying up a bunch of those, even the quads that are coming out. I, I would be careful with those because those are going to probably end up on a low end too. You know, unless you're going to buy like 10 pair, I wouldn't buy. It's not worth it, man. Buying two or three extra pairs. That's that's chump change. That's nothing. So what? If that's what you guys are working with, then you need to get a new hustle. Seriously. I just been hearing it too much lately and just kind of gets on my nerves because these are fantastic shoes they don't deserve to be thrown down and stomped on you know because some people are a little butt hurt that they didn't make you know a killing off of these i mean the quality of the leather alone on the shadows makes these worth way more than what they're going for so keep the fucking shoe you guys don't know how to sit on anything that's your problem you buy it and you want to do the quick flip for pennies two years from now i guarantee you these will be worth near 300 bucks if not more and in five years who knows you know that that's what shoes are for shoes appreciate over time a lot of them do especially nikes and jordans you know, they appreciate over time, meaning the price goes up over time. They're worth more over time, you know, and I don't mean time like a couple weeks. I mean like a couple years. So if you're in patience and your need for a, an extra 100 bucks or 40 or 50 bucks is that bad, then you should not be out here flipping shoes anyway because you're broke. You guys have a good day. Oh, I scored a really really clean nice pair of jordan infrared sixes and i am so fucking excited that is like a grail and i'll have more on that when they come in they should be in early next week since today's friday happy 420 as well i did miss out on the uh dunk release today the uh white widow but i had to cop me the uh the infrared sixes I found such a good deal on and I couldn't pass it up. There's definitely a grail marked off my list. I don't know what I'm going to go after next. Either the uh, undefeated Kobe 1 Pro Tros, the camo colorway, or um, I don't know, the Jordan 11 Pantones. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'll have to put, put up my grail list and then maybe you guys could put in the comments what you want me to go after next. Anyway, guys, uh, also, we're getting really close to that 75 subscriber mark for the first giveaway. Now, I mean, real close. I think we're at, I think we're within 10, 10 subs. So we will be doing that live. I will do it. I'll figure out a way to do it so it's fair. Um, and I want to just say I appreciate all you guys for sub, and I love every single one of you. You guys have been great. It's really hard to find authentic people that really love sneakers to watch your stuff so i really appreciate what you guys have done for me and this has been a longer video than i thought but uh let me know in the comments what you guys think about the term brick and how it applies to you know certain shoes you know i don't you can call these bricks all you want you know i'm wearing these bitches i think they're beautiful I am absolutely in love with the Game Royals. I'm a Cubs fan, so that's Cubs colors right there, man. And the leather on these is is just fantastic, you know. It's right up there. It's right up there with the Chicago Band and Shattered Backboard. Better than the Royals. I don't care what anybody says. Better than the Royals. So, uh, 
Anyway, guys, I'm AJ with Sneaker Authenticators. Give us a follow. We're really, really using Instagram now. I don't know where my head's been at all this time. I uh, built my uh, Facebook page up to like 7,700 almost. And this whole time, I probably could have had double that on Instagram and Twitter. But uh, I'm... I'm a little OG, so uh, I was, you know, doing the Facebook thing. So, really loving Instagram right now. So I'm using that a lot. If you guys got questions or comments, you want to hit me up on Instagram or Twitter. That's actually the better place to get me now. Anyway, I'm AJ, and I am out. Peace.